Today we're gonna to chat a little bit about DNA. We're gonna talk a little bit about DNA damage and what that actually means when we're talking about skincare. It's really, really a fascinating subject to me. I've been studying it for several months. I've been using things that have something called DNA repair enzymes in them. And it sent me down the rabbit hole of DNA and what it means to have damaged DNA and what it means to be able to repair that DNA more efficiently and why we should even care about it when it comes to skincare and aging and our overall skin health. So if you are new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I'm super excited that you're here because this is probably one of the most important subjects that I can think of that I have covered in a very, very long time. So I want to get right into it. First of all, let's go over what DNA even is. I think that we could all use a little refresher course on, you know, high school biology, but DNA is a molecule that contains our genetic code. It's like a recipe for making all the proteins in our body. Now, proteins run the cell's metabolism. They run the cell's waste disposal. They run the cell's messengers, everything. The DNA molecule looks like a twisted ladder and the rungs of the ladder are bases connected by hydrogen bonds. These bases are sequenced in a way that is unique to each of us and that can be read kind of like a book. Think of DNA as a recipe and the rungs, the bases, are the instructions. A complete recipe is called a genome. Each genome contains all the information required to create that living thing. In this case, we're of course talking about humans, about ourselves. So DNA is the blueprint for proteins. Proteins make cells. Cells make tissues. Tissues comprise organs and you put them all together and here we are. You have a total body, a total genome. So that's kind of the sciencey part of it. Why does any of this matter? It matters because every single day, our DNA that is in the nucleus of all of our cells is being damaged. It's being damaged primarily by UV light when we are talking about the skin. Now this matters to us for multiple reasons, not just aesthetic, it matters to us also for health reasons. When you get an accumulation of DNA damage that's not efficiently taken care of by our body's own processes, you can get skin cancers. When you get some serious sunburns and the DNA is damaged like traumatically, a time, two, three, four, you can get melanoma. Melanoma is a very serious skin cancer that is a pretty direct result of traumatic UV exposure. So that is all directly linked to DNA damage. Now, our body has a system for taking care of this. It actually has a very, very efficient system that goes to work right away as soon as our DNA is damaged. The, the sun shines down on us, we start to get some damage. The DNA sends out a message saying, hey, I've been damaged and the body goes to work to try and fix it. Sends in basically a rescue team to carve out the damage, patch up that hole and put it back all together working again. It really is this efficient system. Now, the thing about it is when we get like a sunburn or something like that and we get this damage, this system that we have in our body, it works, but it works in a relatively slow fashion. I mean, it goes to work right away, but it's sort of a slow fashion to mitigate the problem. So like if you get a sunburn, your body takes about 24 hours to get that sunburn about halfway taken care of. And then it takes another 24 hours before that sunburn is another halfway taken care of. So by that second day, you still have 25% left of that damage going on. So you can see how your body is, you know, it's fixing the problem, it just takes a little bit of time. I like to imagine our DNA like a recipe and picture if you had an old recipe that you wanted to write down and give to a friend, but the recipe was so old that you couldn't see some of the ingredients or, you know, maybe the paper had ripped or the water had spilled on it and so it was faded and you couldn't read it. If you still tried to write that recipe down and give it to your friend, it would be an incomplete
great recipe. And if this friend tried to make the cake, let's say of that recipe, but didn't have all of the ingredients, clearly the cake wouldn't turn out right. So I look at DNA that way. If we have this blueprint and some of it gets damaged and it doesn't get fixed and it tries to replicate itself like it has to, to sustain life, and it does go ahead and replicate itself, that's when we get something called mutations. Mutations are evident in things like premature aging, fine lines, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, all of those kind of things, and then unfortunately also skin cancer. Fortunately though, DNA repair inside our body is happening billions of times every single day. So our body is pretty good at taking care of the onslaught of damage. Since it's happening multiple thousand times every day, the DNA repair is going on even more than that, trying to keep up with keeping our cells healthy. Take for example, a sunburn. You get a sunburn and like I just said, that process starts to happen where the body sends in a team to basically start to repair the sunburn, start to repair the damage, start to literally carve out the part of the DNA that is damaged, patch it up and send it back to be working properly again. Okay, so something else happens in that moment and that is the release of a few different things that unfortunately break down collagen, break down elastin, also release pigment and kind of trigger the release of excess pigment. So when we get this sunburn, we actually have this cascading effect of damage happening. This is where DNA repair enzymes in a topical come into play. So why they're important is they stop mutations. So they stop the ability for the DNA to replicate itself, causing the replication of a broken blueprint. It stops you from handing that recipe, missing a couple instructions off to your friend. It repairs a recipe. You can see those ingredients again. So you copy the right recipe and you give it to your friend and everybody gets the right cake. The other thing that DNA repair enzymes do is they stop the release of those three things that I was just talking about. It stops the release of elastasis, which is causing the degradation of elastin. And remember, elastin is a fiber in our skin, a protein protein that gives a kind of a bounce to the skin. We want to have elastic skin. We want to have a bounce to the skin. So we definitely don't want the release of anything that's going to degrade that. And then it also stops the release of MMP1, which even though it's supposed to be remodeling the skin and supposed to be beneficial, it chews up our collagen and we do not want that either. So DNA repair enzymes are multifaceted. They do a lot of things that are not only going to help to fix old damage, but they're going to help to to stop damage in its tracks so that we don't have more cascading damage in the future. Now, I've been testing out lots of different DNA repair enzyme products. I can, if you're interested, I can list the things that didn't work out for me. And it's really just preference. Some of the things that I tested out are, I didn't care for the texture or a couple of them, I didn't care for the way that they made my eyes feel. So if you're interested in that, I'm happy to give a comprehensive list of all the things that I tried. And basically what it's come down to is I have three things that worked out that I really, really like. The first one and the number one is gonna be by Photozyme. That's this one. This is a DNA repair enzyme serum. Now, I am gonna go further into detail with this particular company. I am hoping to interview some of their doctors and really give you guys some details about the science, et cetera, from them. I think it'd be really, really fascinating for you. But this is a serum and it's very comfortable to wear. It's almost like a serum lotion. You're supposed to use this morning and night. It disappears into your skin. It's very pleasant and it is not heavy in any way. I use this in the serum step at night. I haven't been using this in the morning recently because I've been doing my really, really simplified routine in the morning that I shared just a couple weeks ago. But I gotta be honest, going further into the summer, I'm probably going to reincorporate this into my AM routine also. And where I would fit it in, if you are curious, would be right after my resurfacing compound. I would put this on before I went in with my super hydrator. So that's where I would fit this in in the morning. But for right now, I'm using this at night. 
The other thing that I like from that particular brand is their body product. Now, I love this because it has omegas, but it also has that DNA repair enzymes in a body cream. Now, if you're anything like me, you have sun damage on your decollete, on your arms, on your hands. I've been really working on that. It's also quite hydrating and it's just a lovely body lotion. So I've been enjoying this one very, very much. The other thing that I have been using that you guys have heard me talk about a lot is my Neova Silk Sheer. Now that is a sunscreen that I'm using during the day and that is how I've been getting my DNA repair enzymes in during the day. The way that I use that is I simply use it as my sunscreen. You guys have seen me demonstrate that so many times. It has a slight tint to it. I put enough pumps that I get about a quarter of a teaspoon on my face and that's how I'm using that product during the day. So the three types of enzymes that are in this particular Photozyme product, the first one is light activated and it comes from Plankton. Now this one is called Photo Liaise and it's light activated like I said and what happens is the enzyme binds to the DNA and uses the absorbed light to go to work repairing that DNA. As soon as it sees the light, it goes into repair mode, which is pretty awesome. Now, the next enzyme that is in this product is called Micrococcus luteps. Now, this is a skin microbe and there's no light needed. It's slower to work than the photo liaise, the one that we just talked about. The third one is specific for oxidative damage, it's specific for air pollution, it's specific for UV damage, and it's specific for heat. So you get these three different DNA repair enzymes in here, they are all active differently and they all work at a different pace. So you're getting this kind of three prong approach to fixing our DNA. And remember the deal with the DNA damage is that in accumulation, it can cause things like skin cancers. And of course the aesthetic things like hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, fine lines, etc. loss of collagen, loss of elastin. The cool thing about DNA repair enzymes, you guys, is that it can repair old damage. It isn't just like an antioxidant, which is helpful helping to kind of mitigate damage in the moment. It actually can help to repair old damage and it can help to make the damage that is happening in the moment get fixed faster. It's really, really crazy technology. And I do think that if you are someone who is concerned with aging skin, in the sense that you're you're concerned with the damage. Maybe you spent some time in the sun, maybe you spend time in the sun, maybe it was a long time ago, but you're now starting to see the effects of spending time in the sun, that's where I am. I quit spending a ton of time in the sun probably in my mid thirties. And so it's been a long time. It's been well over a decade, well, well, well over a decade since I did any kind of basking in the sun and yet, I am still very much reaping the, you know, bad stuff from my 20s and my early 30s from being stupid in the sun. So I'm really excited about DNA repair enzymes because I think that the science is really, really solid. And I love the idea of trying to fix a little bit of that stuff that I did a long time ago. Now I am gonna put in the description box links to the ones that I love the most. I will list the products that didn't make the cut if you wanna just check them out, if you are interested, because again, none of them are bad products. I actually bought them all because they all looked really good, but several of them just unfortunately didn't agree with my skin or they didn't agree with my eyes or anything like that. However, I think that it might be beneficial for you to know what they are if you would like to go down an investigative rabbit hole like I did. This is the first in a series. I kind of wanted to lay the groundwork for this subject because I will have several more videos on it where we will dive a little bit deeper. We will also chat with scientists who deal with DNA repair enzymes and hopefully I can get more information to you on this really amazing subject when it comes to skincare. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.